Um, it is 2023. It's been less than a year um, since our last conference. On the 30th of September last year, we met at the business space in Moscow. It was a wonderful conference too, actually. Uh, yes, uh, many of the speakers who spoke last time I will be presenting this time again, but this is one of our traditions. Uh, still, we are going to have many new faces as well. Um, the, we uh, were uh, supposed to welcome Anatari Karmazin, who spent the whole day with us yesterday uh, from uh, the uh, municipal administration of Petrozavosk, but today she's attending a meeting with the head of the uh, Karelian Republic, but in any case, uh, she sent her regards to the conference and she wished us uh, every success in our endeavors. Uh, she is grateful uh, that our conference decided to uh, meet here in this wonderful city of Petrozvodsk. Now I would like to introduce to you Media Web, uh, the uh, representative, the, 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 the partners. Um, Yelena and Ksenia. Yelena is the head of the agency, Ksenia is her deputy. Media Web is a well established business um, in. Karelia, they uh, develop websites, they design websites, and they have been uh, our uh, official uh, regional representative since 2013. Can we have the slides on the screen, please? Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to welcome you in our beautiful city. My name is Yelena and I'm General Director of Media Web. Uh, actually, it's been since 2003 that uh, we have been running our business, we've been developing websites, and since 2013 we are acting as a regional representative of Rural Center in the Republic of Karelia. Axenia is the head of our support department and she will walk you through our presentation. Well, this year we're celebrating 20 years and uh, during that time we implemented more than 3,000 projects. As of today, we are supporting more than 500 websites. Our main service is uh, website development. Uh, we mainly uh, build websites uh, on Bitrix and WordPress platforms. We also designed and presented our own website management system. It's called Webion. Uh, we develop websites in compliance with the legislation for the uh, government authorities. We also offer internet advertising and promotion services, and recently we've been implementing projects using augmented reality technology. Since 2013, as you have already heard, we are representatives of uh, Rural Center, and uh, that's when we started offering such services as selecting and registration of domains, changing the domain registrar, um, is uh, uh, reinstating access uh, to the uh, Rural Center user profile. And we provide consultations on um, domain uh, rights uh, transfer and domain sales. Yes, you can contact the registrar directly, but if you are not in the same city where the registrar is located, it's easier to work via a representative. This way you will have to, uh, you, you will not have to recourse to the services of a notary public and you can accelerate the whole process. So that was our brief presentation. If you have any questions about domain names or our website designs, we will be happy to assist you. Here are our contact details. Thank you very much for your attention and we wish you a very productive day. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you for coming here today. Well, finally, Rural Center Top Management is uh, finally here in Petrozavodsk. Uh, the General Director of Rural Center is, is here, uh, finally. Uh, it's an excellent opportunity uh, for us to discuss uh, business opportunities and partnership. Uh, let's bring my presentation on the screen, please. It will be a very short uh, stack of slides since we are organizers of 
of uh, TLDE Khan, uh, we use the privilege of speaking here first and giving you an overview of the Russian domain space in 2023. There is some positive dynamics. This year, we uh, exceeded the 5 million domain names in .ru and 700,000 domain names threshold in the .rf. Um, we, uh, in 2017, we peaked at 5.5 million domain names in .ru and 900,000 registrations in .rf. Uh, well, that threshold was surpassed twice in the past, but um, since the the uh, prices went up uh, a couple of uh, years ago. We slid down to about 600,000 domain names in other ref, but now we're in the positive uh, uh, in the positive. Uh, we're witnessing a positive trend, and the year is not over yet. Of course, there is a contribution to this number from the fishing domains, but this is a universal trend, according to recent statistics. The number of uh, uh, fishing uh, 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 domains uh, has tripled. Uh, that RF is less prone, or oh, it used to be less prone to fishing attacks. In 2020, we called it the safe haven. And uh, in 2023, however, we saw uh, a reversal of this trend. Uh, of course, we'll be collecting statistics and discussing it at the meeting of registrars and the campus and authorities who identify the abuse of domain names in autumn. And this is when we'll be um, looking into the trends in more detail. Small and medium businesses contribute, uh, contributes, uh, contribute a lot into the positive dynamics. Uh, we see that after the pandemic, SMEs started actively um, uh, developing their uh, websites. Um, and since some of the social media uh, uh, are now banned in Russia. Uh, some people believe that uh, the time of the websites is long past, but well, it's not exactly uh, true, and the websites are making comeback. This is uh, the overall plot. Uh, you see the dynamics over a period of several years. Um, uh, in 2016, uh, we peaked. 2017, uh, two, uh, on the 1st of July 2017, in the middle of the year, the prices went up significantly. And th this is uh, why we see this decline in subsequent years. But sooner or later, this increase in registration uh, par uh, prices uh, will happen. Uh, again, the costs are growing. MSKI uh, costs uh, are growing and the TCI costs are grow growing uh, as well as the costs of the coordination center. So today, either uh, during the sessions or offline, we will definitely be discussing the pricing policy. And this is another interesting um, uh, chart. Uh, we uh, plateaued in the number of registrars and that are you that are uh, We saw an increase uh, through the development of the secondary market, but this year, uh, uh, well, uh, we've uh, uh, recorded 133, uh, 133 um, uh, registrars, but actually uh, we have already lost one registrar and we're back to 132. And last Friday, we also decided that the commission's meeting uh, to cancel uh, two more registrations uh, because of uh, the uh, because of um, uh, bad faith uh, uh, actions of the uh, registrar. Uh, what are other um, important trends of the year? Well, first of all, there's uh, sanctions pressure is still here and it's intensifying. In 2023, the Coordination Center and one of our leading registrars rule center were included on the Ukraine sanctions list. Uh, we conduct no business in, the, in Ukraine and uh, it doesn't affect us directly, but still it's not, not uh, it's not pleasant. Definitely, uh, there is nothing good about it. Uh, when we met colleagues from ICANN at the Istanbul conference, we talked to uh, about the problems of the registrars and registries, and the banking system is under severe pressure as well. We do not see any way out there telling us, "Please give us your proposals." It's very difficult to propose any solutions because, uh, well, uh, as soon as we managed to find a reliable bank. Uh, we learned that there is possibility that the bank may lose uh, its uh, 
uh, uh, payment channels, or sometimes the uh, tariffs are so prohibitive for the domain businesses that um, it makes no economic sense to conduct those operational uh, activities. Well, in any case, we will be talking about that at length during today and tomorrow, but let me... Um, uh, uh, go back to our, um, our host, Kareli, in 2022. Uh, Kareli.rf uh, received an award uh, for the best website. They are attracting tourists to the Republic of Kareli very actively using the internet. And to celebrate 25 years of the domain in 2019, we made a, a video internet for all. And one of the episodes in this internet movie, uh, we uh, uh, showed the Kiji Museum that uses the internet to attract tourists. Uh, next year, we'll be celebrating 30 years of that RU, so it's, it will be almost five years since the movie was made. The movie collected many different awards at the social cinema festivals, and the movie is still very relevant. It has 10 or 11 episodes of a series, and they are still very relevant. Let's take a look at the screen. Let's watch that fragment. <laughs> 